Hey guys, welcome back to the gaming channel where we're not good gamers, we're just good people who play games. And today, we are going back at it again with Valkyria Chronicles. But this time, it is in English. Yes, and for those of you who didn't know, Valkyria Chronicles is a tactical role-playing game. So in layman terms, it's like chess because you take turns to move and attack. So this game was first released in 2008 on the PS3. Dude, that is 10 years ago. If I know correctly, this game, the tutorial is going to be very, very long. So let's skip through it and I will brief you guys on how to play it, all right? The day our hometown burned, that was the day we enlisted. Mm -hmm. At last, we had something to believe in, something worth fighting for. All right, so to give you a little backstory, this story is based in Eastern Europe. So it's like the whole German war, Austrian war, like the war in that area, right? There. And what we are controlling right now is a squad called Squad E. This guy is called Claude. He is the leader of and or the commander of the troops. So there are different roles and different uh, tactics on how to approach a game, right? So at the start, we will probably see the normal assault people, like you know the attackers. Then we have a sniper, and then we have a scout. All right. So this is the command mode. All right. So in the command mode, right, you get to choose your players or your attackers, and you choose where they are supposed to be placed at. But there is a limited time for your movements. All right. So as you can see here, we are here, we are the blue icon. There are enemies here, here and here. Three of them are scouts, so they're pretty normal foot soldiers, right? And the cool thing is that, right, it can auto-attack as well. So let's just say you put your player at a certain area, right? And when it's your enemy's turn to move, if they are within your vicinity or your AOE, they'll get attacked by us. It's an auto-attacking auto move. Usually our main line soldiers, our main soldiers won't have that much of a movement. Uh, freedom, see, it's quite small in my opinion. See, it's just nice for me to get here. Depending on your weapon, you might need to get a, a little bit closer. All right, let's see the spread on this gun. Bang, 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 bang. All right, one hit KO, baby, let's go. And you can actually choose to end your move, right? You can actually end your move here, but obviously, there are two more enemies in front there. See, one there and one there. To make life easier, I would definitely move forward a bit more as much as I can so that my next move, I don't really have to move that much. Let's just end my move right here. Alright, so this is Kai and uh, she's a sniper, alright? So this is the sniper tutorial. Obviously, snipers are long range. You can either choose to stand here and shoot, which is pretty simple, or you can move forward. But I'm thinking long term, alright guys? So, I can obviously shoot down this guy, no problem from this distance. I can choose to move and shoot him. You can see my movement, my AP gauge, right, is very little. I'm really in close range, but you know what? Just to be safe. Just to be safe. There you go. Close range sniper shot. And you can see on the top here, that's your CP, that's your command point, right? This determines how many more moves you have. I have one right here. If I end my phase, I can still carry on this one to my next phase. My choice is to either stay here or move my players forward, which I will move forward because um, of course you want to get an advantage, you want to get a tactical advantage, you move them forward. Bring him as forward as I can. Can I get to the other sandbag? Can I get to the other sandbag? Ah, okay, just nice. So you see right guys, if they come forward, right, and they're within Raz's uh, vicinity, they will get hurt as well. Oh, this is Kai's POV. Oh, he's not within my reach. Oh no, I'm at a disadvantage now, it's 2v1. Oh no. Oh see? That's what Raz just did. Raz just hit him with an auto shot. And half his life is gone actually. I didn't need to move. I was, honestly, I didn't need to move. It's, it's a very good positioning, yeah. They were in my line of fire and they get automatically hurt. So now it's my turn, let's see. I think they're going to introduce the new backup. Yes, we have new backups, alright. The more players you have on your team, the more CP points you have as your base. We have four moves this time, and who do we have? We have... Okay, let's see the unit list. We have Kai, our sniper. We have Zyga. Zyga is another soldier, just like um, Raz. Alright, then we have two scouts. We have Curtis and Nico, and they are way behind. So scouts naturally have more movements. Alright, let, let's try and move one scout forward. Do you can see their AP gauge is so much more than a sniper or our shock troopers? So let's get a more tactical position, which is right here. Scouts are very weak. Scouts are better in uh, locating an enemy's location. Honestly, in my opinion, this won't do much damage. Do I want to throw a grenade? 
Oh, my grenade can't even reach. Let's just try and aim here. We will need to bring forward our other shock trooper. Let's put him right beside Raz. So we have more attacking. We have a more attacking front right here. Aha! Did you actually hit me or you hit me once? Okay. Alright. Can I hit him from here? Yes, I can, of course. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh! He's on 11 health. I don't think he's within my reach. So he... I'll need him to come closer to me. Okay, cool, 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 cool. They're not doing that much damage, but yes, you have to be more careful. I have two CP. What would I want to do? You know what? Let's end this guy. Let's end him right here now. Yeah, baby. Okay, so this is where the fun starts, guys. The tanks. The only player on your team who can control a tank is Claude. There are different uh, aspects when it comes to tanks. You can choose uh, a machine gun, a mortar, or like those um, armor-piercing bullets. There are pros and cons to the tanks. Uh, one pro is that you can break all this stuff, like these gates. Oh, wait, whoa. I mean like these gates right here. Sandbags, you can go over them. The only problem is that you are very limited movements. Tank warfare, armor piercing shells, mortar rounds, and mounted machine guns. So out of the three guns, right, the best in my opinion is definitely the mortar. Mortar is more of an AOE and it does the most damage. When you're within close range, I think the AP rounds are the best. And if, do you see this blue thing right here? Now that's a weak spot. Honestly, in my opinion, I don't really have a good shot at the at the weak spot right now. So I'm just gonna use my mortar. Can I even reach? Can my motor reach? Oh, I don't think my motor can reach. I, I think I'm too far. Okay, I'll, I'll just stick with the AP round for now. Let me just stick right here and just do some damage here. Let's go. Alright, that's half. That's half his life. Gone. Nice, nice, nice. So now it's the enemy's tank to move forward. And he has three moves. Oh my god, let's see what he's gonna do. Is he gonna take me out in one go? Did that do any damage to him? Not really. He still has 650. Oh. That, that hurt. Can you end your face for me, please? Can you just end your face? End your face. Oh shit, has he ended my face? Oh my god, the, the CPU is just being too nice. Let's let's end this, guys. Let's end this, alright? Alright, so as you can see, the weak point here is the blue spot. So, of course, I'm going to make full use of it by going behind him. Alright, alright, alright. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. That's right! It's over for you, sir. It is over. Bye-bye. It's over. The weak point. Yes. Whew. So you only use Mota if they are like... Other, pers other enemy uh, personnel around the tank. So it will do damage onto the tank and surrounding area. So it's like an AUE attack. Anyway guys, yes, that's the first episode of Valkyria Chronicles 4 English version. And if you want Valkyria Chronicles 4 for yourself, all you have to do is just head down to the link below and get it for yourself. Alright guys, thank you so much for the support. Do remember to subscribe to our channel, like this video and comment down below if you like Valkyria Chronicles 4 and if you want us to play more. Alright guys, and in the meantime, I'll see you next time, right? In the meantime, this video will end. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.